May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. May 16, 2024, Thursday of the seventh week of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who through their word shall believe in me. So may they all be one. Just as you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, so also may they be one in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. And the glory that you have given to me, I have given to them, so that they may be one, just as we also are one. I am in them and you are in me. So may they be perfected as one. And may the world know that you have sent me and that you have loved them, just as you have also loved me. Father, I will that where I am, those whom you have given to me may also be with me, so that they may see my glory which you have given to me. For you loved me before the founding of the world. Father most just, the world has not known you. But I have known you, and these have known that you sent me. And I have made known your name to them, and I will make it known, so that the love in which you have loved me may be in them, and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can our physical posture during prayer Reflect our reverence and love for God, as seen in Jesus' act of lifting his eyes to heaven. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. John 17 verses 20 to 21. Over the past couple of weeks, we have been continually reading from chapter 14 to 17 of John's Gospel. These chapters contain Jesus' Last Supper discourses and provide us with Jesus' last sermon, so to speak. Chapter 17, which we have been reading this past week, presents us with Jesus' final prayer for his disciples and for all of us who will believe in him through the preaching of the disciples. Each time we read from chapter 17, the lectionary begins the reading with the phrase lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed saying. That line is an adaptation of chapter 17 verse 1 but is used to introduce the various parts of the prayer of Jesus each time it is read at Mass. It's interesting that Jesus would look up to heaven when he prayed. Of course, heaven is not physically in the sky, because heaven is a spiritual reality. The Father is not located in some place in the sky, but is omnipresent, meaning, present all places and all times. And yet, Jesus raises his eyes upward when he prays to the Father. There is a great lesson in this. Our physical disposition is important, at times. For example, when someone we owe respect to enters a room, we usually rise and greet them. It would be disrespectful to remain lounging on a bed or sofa in that case. And at Mass, we do not sit back with legs crossed during the consecration, rather, we kneel in adoration. And when we greet someone for the first time, we do not look at the floor, rather, we look them in the eyes. Jesus' act of lifting his eyes to heaven was not done because he thought he might see the Father in the sky, rather, it was done out of respect and love and as a way of acknowledging the dignity of the Father. This should teach us about our own bodily disposition and the message we communicate to others, especially to God in prayer. When you pray, what do you do? Though you can pray at any time and while in any disposition, it is an excellent practice to speak to God, not only by your words, 
but also by the disposition you take. Kneeling, raising hands in prayer, falling prostrate before your Lord, sitting upright with attentiveness, etc. are all ways in which you communicate to God your love. Reflect today upon this image of Jesus praying. Gaze at how attentive he would have been as he lifted his sacred eyes upward as a physical gesture honoring the glorious, all-powerful Father in heaven. Try to imagine Jesus' devotion, intensity, respect and burning love. Imitate this holy gesture of prayer and attentiveness to the Father and remind yourself of the importance of expressing your love in bodily form. Let us pray. My most holy Father in heaven, I do join your Son, Jesus, in lifting my eyes, my heart and my whole life to you in honor, love and respect. May I always be attentive to you and always show you the devotion to your greatness. My dear Jesus, thank you for your love of the Father in heaven. Give me the grace I need to imitate you and your perfect love in my life. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.